There is one more uh, suggestion which I would like to give is that now that we are deliberating on the purpose of today's meeting is essentially, as I said, is not only looking back what we have done, but look forward as to what we need to do and how we, we will achieve that target. So those matters which we need to discuss today and that is the purpose of this seminar. You have been doing that always when you meet as monitoring committee. But the focus in monitoring committee is to be actual working during that relevant period. Now here it is the focus should be of focus of discussion should be of seeing the future, seeing how to achieve that place and that position. So that is the purpose of this uh, conference and uh, with such large number of uh, participants, I am certain and hopeful that all of you will throw very useful uh, light on these matters and we will be able to come out with some concrete suggestions at the end of the discussion. Now friends, let me just remind all of you, today everybody is speaking about docket explosion. Some speaker has mentioned about it. I am really not worried about docket explosion because pendency, yes, there is pendency. Today, Maharashtra is one of the best states, performing states in judiciary. Our performance is that our pendency has reduced. It is now only 29 lakhs cases pending. 29.77 thousand, 29.77 thousand to be precise. Now, we have given our judiciary, Maharashtra judiciary, you as a team, have given disposal of 6 lakhs excess cases than the institution of cases. That is a big achievement. Today's central government is placarding that uh, yes, judiciary has done good job and given more disposal than the institution uh, of cases. That credit goes to Maharashtra, no other state, because you have through different processes, Lokadana, mediation and different processes and actual trials conducted, you have been able to dispose of large number of cases and dependencies only 29 lakh cases. Now, I will put it in the context of mediation movement. What have you done? Out of 29 lakh cases, we could only identify 55,000 which is not even less than 2% of cases for reference. Can we not think of exploiting these 29 lakh cases from those 29 lakh cases, identify more uh, uh, suitable cases for reference and increase that 2% references out of the pending cases to little higher percentage perhaps then what we are discussing that our success rate should be 50% of uh, settled cases, our success rate, the next generation success rate should be more disposal through settlement then tried cases. Perhaps that may be possible. So please consider this aspect and work on those matters. There is huge scope for making references. There are large number of cases pending. As I said, I am not really worried about tax uh, docket explosion. What I am worried about is docket exclusion. Docket exclusion means it is well known fact that out of 100 disputes, only 8 to 10 percent of disputes come to the court through before different forums throughout India. This is the average institution uh, now. That means that 90 percent of disputes, they just don't go to the court at all for whatever reason. Maybe financial constraints, maybe worried about time factor that I may not get justice during my lifetime, why should I go? These are matters. So, according to me, docket exclusion is the most sensitive area which nobody is touching upon. And what is that docket exclusion? How do you address it? Therefore, we have come up, come with a, some suggestion which you can also ponder. We have now decided to establish mediation clinic. Which mediation clinic will be attached, essentially attached to legal service authority. Now what is that mediation clinic? Anyone can walk with a problem in that clinic. 
there will be medi trained mediator in attendance. We have prepared a scheme. You can we can share that scheme with you. Perhaps that will, is circulated already circulated. If not, uh, you should get it today itself. If it is available, we can uh, make it available to you. Now, what is that mediation clinic scheme? Anyone with any problem should can walk like he walks in the doctor's clinic. He comes to you, the advocate mediator who will be available in attendance, uh, uh, he will attend to him and after looking at the problem, he will get the details and invite the other party for the meeting and try to work, solve the problem. Now this can be pre-litigation dispute which I am referring to as docket exclusion. Now this pre-litigation dispute, if suppose the other party comes to the mediation clinic, after the mediator's some effort, the matter is settled between them, then it can go before the Lok Adalat and in the format of Lok Adalat, the dispute can be finally resolved with decree of the court. Now this is possible in the mediation clinic, pre-litigation can be addressed there, but that will be attached to legal service authority, not under mediation. Mediation committee is essentially to deal with only those cases which are referred by the court. Now, there are there is other possibility where there are the, the dispute is before the court. There is no reference made by the court as of now. But some litigant taking clue from today's meeting and today's conference or similar conferences we may have later may walk into the mediation center and say my matter has not been referred by court, but I want my case to be referred for mediation. Now, such type of cases can also go before the mediation clinic. Now, these are the two kinds of cases which mediation clinic will, will be handling. And mediation center will be handling only court referred cases. Keep that distinction in mind. Then the system will work properly, otherwise there will be conflict and the, there will be confusion. Ending in, uh, you see, perhaps uh, avoidable situation. So these are matters on which we need to debate. Then I would also suggest that the references which I said the number should increase still, uh, what we have done, we can still do better, uh, is you can think of cases which are dormant cases, lying in the registry, not before the court, the trial has not commenced. Consider those cases to be referred to mediation. For that also we have a scheme, case mediation identification scheme that I think is at serial number 23 uh, at page 36 of the handbook of year 2012. Please go through that scheme. If that scheme can be made effective without matter being referred by the court, even then reference order can be sought from the coordinator of the mediation center and the mediation activity can commence before the trial commences. Perhaps the, uh, then the uh, court's time is not taken in the in the process. So this are this is one area which we can work upon, and we need to uh, we, we need to really uh, uh, implement that scheme uh, scrupulously. That will be capable. Cap, uh, that will give uh, benefit. The benefit is additional references means the mediators who are not, who are presently uh, not so busy. References can be made to them, their, uh, their uh, uh, you see, services can be utilized which will go a long way and there will be increase of capacity building of our resource persons. The existing uh, trained mediators and experienced and empanel mediators, their, their uh, services can be utilized in the process. There is one more last suggestion which I would place before you is that what the monitoring committees are expected to do. Perhaps something which has not been done by the monitoring committees, uh, I have come across in last two years, I am just placing before you. What they should be look, working on and scrutinizing is of insufficient or no references made by referral judges. Now, in their area, the referral judges who are not making reference, they should find out what is the reason, is he not in a position to make reference because of the nature of assignment, is it because he is not taking interest 
in mediation, he doesn't take interest in ADR, so help that referral judge. That such judge can be sent for re uh, refresher courses. Because now, with the increased number of trained trainers we have, today the, the number of trainers is 13. We have, we are shortly going to add another 25, uh, those mediators who have successfully completed 50 settled cases in mediation process. Now that 25 number will get added to this 13. So we will have enough number of traders who can conduct refresher courses periodically and at regular intervals at the uh, local level. So such referral judges can be sent for refresher courses. Perhaps they need some guidance and they will start improving. We are not uh, suggesting that you scrut they do scrutiny to punish that person. We don't want to punish referral judges. We need to help them. We need to make them understand that this is useful exercise and it is ultimately reducing your workload in the long term. So this is how you can do it. Then the, uh, the monitoring committee should then scru scrupulous scrutiny of excessive number of failed mediation of references made by particular judges. Now referral judges are making references as I said, but most of them turning to be unsuccessful. So, scrutiny of that must be made, identify those mediators, send them for refresher courses, so that their areas, uh, their vision will be more, uh, uh, you see, clear after the refresher courses, there may, there may be some doubts, maybe they, they have some wrong uh, understanding of uh, making reference, that after discussion can be sorted out. I think I have covered most of it and uh, I would only say that today we have just inaugurated this website. You, we are fortunate that it has happened in Aurangabad and uh, you have seen the uh, how it works. It is very uh, well thought and well considered website with the team of Mr. Kachre, Mr. Bile and uh, coordinator the Deshmo, they worked very hard on completing the project. It was done in shortest time with the assistance of the, uh, 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 the Tata Consultancy Service personnel. We could complete this project in less than one month's time. And we are really thankful to all the persons who, really, uh, who worked on this project. And it is a very extensively uh, Boys uh, project that is it will be all activities will be auto generated there will be minimum intervention manual intervention required you have to keep on feeding the site from wherever you want any stakeholder can utilize that facility and update this site in the process all the information which are required will be auto generated informing the mediator that today you have to meet at this time at this place for mediation of this matter this will be all auto generated and no manual intervention this I think with this kind of activity which is a virtual office you are carrying your office wherever you are going and no manpower is required the entire activity which an office normal administration of queues, clerks and uh, uh, registrars would be requiring to do all that will be done by the computer itself and the program. So use that facility as much as possible and to the best of your ability. Thank you for giving patience.